A woman in Madison is hoping the city will listen to her after workers dug a bus stop right out of her front yard. And she said she had no idea it was happening. Amy Reed joins us now to explain how this played out. Amy? Great. Imagine coming home from work and being surprised with this, a giant hole cut of, out of your previously full front yard. That's the reality for this woman on Reed's Road. She said no one even told her this would happen. And now she hopes Madison Metro will move it somewhere else. Okay, I, I'm not sure where to start. How about yesterday when Monica Johnson came home from work and saw this? I didn't know what it was for. She chased down construction workers to find out, only to learn it was a new bus stop, moved 15 or so feet from where it was before, and Monica knew nothing about it. It's just really hard to accept that that a giant monstrosity could be put in your front yard without any kind of notice or... I had no idea. And just how big is this thing? We checked. Nearly 19 feet across and about 15 feet into her yard. And let's not forget about the cost, $3,300. I feel like I am paying $3,300 for them to decrease the value of my home. She's been doing all she can to get someone to listen. I, I contacted the mayor. Calling those in power and calling us. But right now, I feel like they aren't concerned at all about works for me. So I just, I don't know what to do. That's when City of Madison Engineering realized they messed up. They told her about the roads, but for some reason, not the bus stop, which only averages about one boarding per day. At this point, we are committed to making sure that we're working with her. Uh, we want to do right by this, and we want to take this moment to reflect and, and think, how can we do this better? And because of the confusion, they've altered the project, opting to cut the square footage for a sidewalk and taking care of that cost themselves. But Monica hopes the city will continue to listen and maybe move this pad somewhere else. Right here, this enormous pad, I, I don't know what to say, and I don't know how to get over it. Metro Transit, who's in charge of the bus stop and pad placements, they told me that they are talking with Monica and they'll decide if they can move it on Monday. Wow, story we'll definitely be following. Amy, thank you.